Hello dear students, this is a video on session 15 of financial accounting 6 subject. In this video, I am going to explain section B problem 1. Following is the balance sheet of A limited and B limited on 31st December 2019. A limited and B limited do balance sheet ko da hai. Two companies agree to amalgamate and form a new company called C limited. Here do company merge jag bitu, C company enta form up there. Okay, Hosa company called C limited is being formed by merging or amalgamating two old companies A and B CRC C company and the form Martha the rest. So the C limited will take over the assets and liabilities of both A and B. Both the companies A and B do assets and liabilities na C or the whole hotter. C company and the Hosa company form Maria the Kakthare. The authorized share capital of C limited is rupees 10 lakhs in equity shares of rupees 10 each. So 10 lakh rupees and the authorized share capital C limited do okay hat to rupee one the share in a belle. So 1 lakh equity shares of 10 rupees each 10 lakh rupees will be the equity share capital. Assets of A limited are taken over at a reduced valuation of 10% with exception of land and buildings which are accepted at book values. So A limited to assets the matra. 10% less than book value ke land and buildings na bitto land and buildings na book value ke tagon hotare whereas bere ella assets na a limited do assets na matra 10% less than book value ke tagon hotare okay whereas b limited do assets na book value nalle tagon hotare including liabilities also liabilities are also taken over at book values because uh, uh, bere liability agli athwa b limited do assets to revaluation bage yellu mention agila a limited do assets na matra 10% less than book value ke tagon hotare and the 1 lakh rupees adrudu balance sheet value idre um, 1 lakh minus 10 percent andre 90000 rupees ke tagon hotare 90000 matra adrudu worth anta consider maadi tagon hotare anta artha Okay, next both the companies are to receive 5% of the net valuation of their respective businesses goodwill. So, here are two companies to go. Our, uh, our, our business to net valuation or the net asset in the net asset mele 5% ashtana our goodwill aage receive mark othara into 5% mark othara goodwill value barata. The entire purchase price is to be paid by C Limited in fully paid shares. So, complete purchase price in our fully paid equity shares na issue maadi C Limited aur ke pay maadta uh, C Limited aur pay maadta ra. Fully, uh, fully paid equity shares na issue maadi purchase price in a settle maadta ra. Show purchase consideration calculation, pass journal entries and prepare opening balance sheet in the books of C Limited. C Limited aur purchasing company na li journal entries na bardu and balance sheet na maadi in the head dar PC calculation door se. Now, PC calculation is the net asset method. Because the net payment method is not the issue of 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 Land and buildings na book value nal tokon hogi da rehanta adjustmental create da mention aagi da. Land and buildings accepted at book values anta. So balance sheet value ne bar kool da dini B limited ye nil. Whereas plant and machinery, stock, debtors idha illa dukku minus 10% mar kool da dini. Okay. So plant and machinery uh, A limited to 1 lakh 10,000 idha. Minus 10% 99,000 zikha da. Whereas B limited to balance sheet na lane value da adha ne bar kool da Similarly stock. 16,000 is in the balance sheet of A limited minus 10% 14,400 whereas B limited do balance sheet 8,000 is in cash can never be revalued cash is not revalued cash is equal to 2,500 you cannot revalue cash so as it is you are writing it down debtors again 14,000 balance sheet is in the A limited do minus 10% 12,600 9,000 balance sheet value as it is so total assets Namadi ish amount barata total assets taken over. Similarly, liabilities taken over already. Balance sheet nali liabilities outsiders liability <coughs> You have trade creditors, debentures, and employee provident fund, which are outsiders liability. Hangare insiders liability and they are shareholders at the owners of the company ke belong on the high liabilities, insiders liability at the character. Yawa villa equity shares, reserve fund, dividend equalization fund, dividend equalization, dividends yaru kodadu shareholders ke. So this again belongs to equity shareholders. 
P&L account, accumulated profits. So, even the shareholders or owners of the company go with there. That is the insider's liability. Outsider's liability are the creditors, debenture holders, and employee provident fund. Employee provident fund is the employees. Okay, employees are outsiders, our owners of the business. Allah. Okay, so our profits and shares are the employee provident fund is also an outsider's liability. So, subtract these three. Okay, that is yeah, Muru liabilities no book value nalle barkoli because uh, liabilities revaluation bage yellow questionally mention illa liabilities east value tokon hokta dare anta yellow mention madila. So, a balance sheet nalle in value iru to ashtun matra hangange barkoli. So, total uh, liabilities taken over east barathe. Total assets minus total liability madathe nimge net asset barathe. 1,59 minus 33, 1,26. 68,000 minus 8,000, 60,000. So, net asset plus goodwill will give you PC. Purchase consideration. So, what is goodwill? Goodwill is 5% of net assets. It will receive 5% of net valuation. So, 5% into net asset, 1,26,000 into 5%, 6,300. 60,000 into 5%, 3,000. So, this will be your goodwill. Net assets, and the asset minus liability, plus goodwill, if you do, you will get purchase consideration. Okay. So, I hope you have understood PC calculation. Let's move on to journal entries in the books of C limited purchasing company books only journal entries na keli dara so even more journal entries para do new uh, proforma journal entries na li no bohu do in the books of transfer company journal entries na li ida set of journal entries na nan kote dini adu hege uh, ili uh, e problem ga apply agate no rana so the first journal entry will be business purchase account debtor to liquidator of a company account liquidator of b company account okay so liquidator of a company now Purchase consideration A company ke yesh bandi da 1,32,300 B company ke 63,000 So by mistake we have written A here It should be B Liquidator of A company ke na 1,32,300 Kortte devi Liquidator of B company ke we are giving 63,000 So total purchase consideration which C limited is going to pay is 1,95,300 Idi arudu no add maada 1,95,300 barudda So your first journal entry Nima performa journal entry sari da Business purchase account data Business na purchase maadra adhi ke Liquidators of A company ke na wo 1,32,300 kortte devi Liquidators of B company ke 63,000 kortta devi Being purchase consideration payable C limited auru now pay maad beku A limited and B limited to liquidators ke anta barita dara Second journal entry na li They will be writing all the assets and liabilities Yao yao villa assets na togan hokta dara Adil bar koltara Ili nimge PC calculation on note bohudu The same set of entries are written Same set of assets are written Land and buildings, plant and machinery, stock, data and cash So idhi na add maadi togan di dara ili So land and buildings, plant and machinery, stock, cash, data Goodwill you know or pay Martha Radrinda. Here you can see goodwill you know or pay Martha. Goodwill is also your asset. So goodwill account data is 9300 Beritra, 6300 plus 3000. So 9300 you will write. So all the assets account data to various liabilities to 6% debentures, to employee provident fund, to trade creditors. Illinima list of liabilities are all over there. Ashtuno Barkoltira. Okay, 20,000, 3000, and 18,000. 10 plus 8. 18,000 hangange bharitira and two business purchase first entry na le no business purchase account debit tagira to adane ili two business purchase anta 195300 bharitira here you can see first entry inda ne ee amount bandide okay so ili total debit and total credit madidre same amount barbeku ekane nimge ili goodwill u bardiro odrinda same amount e barutte okay generally net payment method enadru madidre ili sarpa difference barutte but net asset method alli idu same barutte next you have Liquidators of A company and liquidators of B company. Ye, ni wo yen na kotto aura payment na marta dira. How are you settling their claims? Liquidator ke dud kordbe ko. Liquidator of A company and liquidator of B company. Ye na hara kordbe ko unta il bardi dibe. So ibana thirty two thousand three hundred ata sixty three thousand na pay marta dikhe. Yen na kotta dibe. Ili questional nodi. The entire purchase price is to be paid by C Limited in fully paid shares. Bari shares in a issue maadi na vadna settle maadta divi. So how are you going to write the entry? Liquidators in A company account data. Liquidators in B company account data to equity share capital account. Okay. So equity shares in a issue maadi auru purchase consideration na settle maadta ra. So here we have finished journal entries in the books of C Limited. Moore journal entry bara do. Realization expenses bagi yellu mention illa. So adu ki samandha pata yaudhi journal entry illi baro dilla. Okay. Next we will do the balance. Balance sheet. So new balance sheet note that. Let's look into asset side, which is quite easy first. So asset side, I explain my birthday. 
ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಹೆಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಯಾವುದು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಡೇಟಾಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಸ್ ನಾನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಷಿನರಿ ಗುಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಮ ನಾನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಬರೀವಾಗ ಇದನ್ನೇ ನೀವು ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಸೆಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬರೀತೀರ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ರೈಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಷಿನರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗುಡ್ ವಿಲ್ನ ನಾನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದೇ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ಕೊತೀರ ವೆರ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೇಟರ್ಸ್ನ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಅವೇ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ನ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿತ್ತು ಅಥವಾ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಜೋನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಟ್ರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿದೆಯೋ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ನ ಬರೆದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಟೋಟಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರ ವೆರಸ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ಗೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಪ್ರಾವಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಫಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟರ್ಸನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಓವರ್ ನೋಡಿ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಪ್ರಾವಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಫಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟರ್ಸನ್ನು ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀರ ವೆರಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಡಿಬೆಂಚರ್ಸನ್ನ ನಾನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಥವಾ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಬೋರೋಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಬರೀತೀರ ನಾನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಬೋರೋಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಬೋರೋಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ನಾನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಬೆಂಚರ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ನ ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀರ ಶೇರ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಫಂಡ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಶೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರ ಶೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಈ ಲಾಸ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಶೇರ್ಸ್ನ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡಿದಾರಲ್ಲ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡೇಟರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಈ ಅಮೌಂಟನ್ನ ಶೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಓವರ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನೇ ನೀವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬರಿತಿದ್ದೀರ ಶೇರ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ನೀವು ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡ್ರೇಷನ್ನ ಸೆಟಲ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಶೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಅಂತ ಬರಿತಿದ್ದೀರ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಸೊ ಶೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಡಿಬೆಂಚರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಟ್ಯಾಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು 